Veronica. Veronica, girl. Veronica. Hey, cousins. Veronica. Veronica. I don't. I don't met a man by the name of Rudy who said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Child, you and everybody hold on, else. Hold on, hold on, Veronica. Hold on, Veronica, because I got to do you the way I did him. Is this your husband? Soon to be ex, but yes. I know him. I do. Is this your wife? Legally, yes. This, this, this is your wife. You guys aren't divorced. No. She said that she he was divorced we had we no our, we have our first um mediation april 4th so this is so you are still legally married to him unfortunately yes so you lied to us i didn't lie to you so here's the thing i didn't know what your i had I, I, there's no shade to you i didn't know who you were i'd never seen your show it was the first time i ever joined your show somebody kept Girl, that don't got nothing to do with a question of you i didn't know this is what i'm saying is i didn't know your requirements to be on the show was like oh you but, but that, that, that don't matter yet. anyways so Laura, okay the question, yes yes I mean, yes 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 so yes. you lie because the question I, I was no, are I'm you divorced. divorced hold on whether you knew me or not it ain't about shade questions are questions and the direct question was are you divorced okay. you said let's hold on hold on let me finish let's roll with it let me finish veronica i'm gonna let you respond but i gotta finish we have a grown woman talk because you want to start off lying again. Are now here's the response. We? Yes. I don't give a damn if you never heard of me. The question is simple. I asked you where you divorced, and then I asked you when you got divorced. Okay, two minutes. Have you ever been married? I have, yeah. Divorced. When did you get to say again, honey? I'm divorced. Divorced. When did you get divorced? Last June. June 2023. So you said June. So I, that's why I said, do she think she's really divorced? So regardless of you met me from that day, the question was direct and clear. Are you divorced? When'd you get divorced? The reason I asked the when is because people like yourself can be separated at times. So I asked the when, and then I think we brought it up two times. So you should just admit you lied. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. I wasn't cl completely clear about my divorce date, but yeah. I in my mind, so you I thought you were divorced. You, you, you think well, you're divorced? Absolutely, absolutely. He's living with his ex-wife. He's living with his first wife. Like you left here a year ago, and unfortunately, it's a technicality because in South Carolina, you have to be separated for a year before you can file for divorce. Now we were going to falsify and file in Florida and say that hey, we were you know he's going to file in Florida so we can have an immediate divorce. But because of other things on his part, he decided no, I'm going to try to file in South Carolina, or we would have already been divorced. This is just a drag out thing, but we don't speak. We don't talk. We have no interaction. We are done. We have nothing to talk. We have no kids. We have no ties. We have nothing together. We are done completely. But yeah, let me ask call you it that. that's are fine. You, go ahead. No, what was you going to say? No, I was going to say, but that's, that's fine. I, I'll let you hold that. That's okay. Yeah. Technically us. I'm, I'm technically yes. Still married. So did you, were you aware that you had a mediation in April? Yes, I'm aware. So then I'm you aware knew now. when you talked to me that you were still married. I literally just got the letter for the mediation in the mail. So today. when you talk to me, but I, what I'm saying is if you knew you had a mediation, you knew you were. I didn't know that. I just got it today. You just, so you, had, so, to so you had no idea you had a mediation in April. Mm -mm, I just got it today. Fact, did you, let me ask you this. When you talk to me, if a guy, if a guy proposed to you, did you feel as though you could legally marry him? Nobody would propose to me. Hence why I said no, I no, want no, to take I'm my time. You, if a guy proposed to you, would you feel as though you were able to legally marry him? Sure, I would say you just have to wait till after June. We can get married, but it have to be after June. Well, you knew it, Veronica. You trying to answer around these questions, Sean? I'm, I'm not answering you. Asking me, I'm no, answering no, the question. No, no, no. If, if somebody proposed, okay, okay, so okay, so you're right. So therefore, you knew that Kendra, they would already know. Like, hey, listen, here's my situation. Here's what really happened. Here's the story. Here's what's gone on. If you're trying to propose, we can get married, but unfortunately, until after this date, June 18th of 2024. I, my court date is not, we're not legally divorced until then. So, okay, Veronica, either way, why not just say you were separated when I asked you when you were divorced? I, in my mind, we're divorced. We're divorced. And and it will all, it's going to all come out in the wash because in, in case, I don't know if you didn't see all of the messages, but all of this, this there's been a plethora of women who've been commenting on your TikTok, your Instagram, and your YouTube about their relationships with him during our marriage the relationships that they had with him during well, our marriage. Wait, but here's the deal. He didn't come on my show. And all I care about is coming on my show. I can't, listen, I don't know you and I don't know Rudy. That's right. On my show, but the rule of my show, it's a very clear rule. If you're separated 
wait till you're officially divorced and you can come back again and like i said i did and again and like i said i didn't know so what he's doing and what y'all doing that's really y'all business but when you come on my show you make it my business now if he would have called me and i would have asked him is he still married and he would have said he separated i would say well we can't continue because that's the rule but let's go on i want you to fact check some other things that he said do you have three children she said she had two kids she has three kids she has a daughter who's 26 she has a granddaughter um who's 10 so that that was inconsistent do you have any children i do have two boys two boys how old are your boys huh 17 and 10. 17 and 10 are they both by the same man no they're not here's the thing with a lot of that stuff so um because it has now become a legal matter because as you know in the state of south carolina libel and slander is punishable by misdemeanor uh fines there can be um civil ramifications do you have three children veronica it is i, I never said that i didn't i have three children and on my I social asked you media how many pages, kids you had you said you had two first of all i don't children to me ch are ch they're children i have an, an adult child who is not in my household so when you say children if a man is going to date me he's going to date me and my two children the two children i have in my home i have a child who has lived, lived in my house in 10 years she's 27 years old she's almost 30. I, I, that I is an adult like women i have to ask the most direct question to get a, a honest answer so do i have to start saying how many children have come out of, how many people have come out your body in order to get the real answer like i have to really go no or maybe basic. just in total but when you're saying children because if you're on a dating no, show somebody's gonna no, date honey, you they're Veronica, going to date your children Veronica, i have an, a, this now, is an adult child and she's not a secret on my social better. media page uh, on my social media page my grandchild and my child are both on my social media listed let, all, okay, all let throughout my page let me ask you this so there was how no denial people, about that how many people have come out of your body three so that's how I have to start asking women questions, obviously. That's how you would like to phrase, that's to how you would like to phrase your question. How many people have come out of your body in order to get the real number of how many people you birthed? That's really sad that I have to go that deep it's with a 43-year-old woman. It's not you sad. It's not sad. Now, do you want to have the conversation or do you want to? You didn't have this energy Veronica, for if you were you 21, didn't have this I would expect that. So have the correct energy for me because I didn't come at you wrong like that, Kendra. You're coming no, at me with all this extra energy. The energy right it's now unnecessary. Is it's because, unnecessary. No, it's deal. unnecessary. It really is. It's unnecessary. Here's the deal. Veronica, somebody was allowed to come onto your platform you know? Listen, and we can't slander talk. somebody. We can't talk. You're we absolutely can't. right. We can't. So go ahead. Go ahead. It's your platform. Here's the deal. Whether you knew me or not, you call me. I don't know you if you never call me. Rule number one, plain and simple. You decided to call me. Once you call me, you make you, your business, our business, the cousin's business, watching. Now, I'm just going to say, I had no idea that I had to ask a 43-year-old woman how many people came out of her body in order to get the real answer of how many people she birthed because children, she's past that age. That, to me, if you were 21, I would expect this dialogue. But to be a woman that's one year younger than me, that's kind of sad and pathetic just being honest but that and that's your opinion but i don't have this is a grown woman this is an adult who this is an adult who doesn't live in my home who hasn't lived in my home and in, in probably almost 10 years she hasn't lived in my home so when you say children to me that is a child if somebody is going to interact with me they're interacting with two children who are actually in my home this is an adult who lives five states away i don't consider that to be a child i don't i've never neglected her she's very much on um, a part of my she's on my social media like it's not like i'm negating the fact that i ever have had a child so you know th and that's a technicality here's another thing oh she lives here and not here hello nobody ever says i might as well just drop the pin and gave my address i'm in this area you don't exactly say hey this is where i am it's like somebody who lives in hollywood you don't know where hollywood florida is so you would say oh i'm in the miami area or i'm in miami because most people know that as a landmark that's not a lie for safety reasons you don't say especially when you live in a small town oh i live here so uh, some of these things were so petty and the fact that she was just like followed up on them it was just absurd to me but again slander and libel is a real thing and in the state of south carolina it is considered a misdemeanor it is and i'm i have to be cautious on what i say because the matter now is with my attorney however a lot of that stuff was false and incorrect and there are women who have been trying to reach out to you who also have receipts and pictures and videos that are time stamped during the time of our marriage who can attest to saying hey well, the well I, 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 I already divorce. addressed that i already addressed that the the bottom line is this 
what I don't did know you address? Who, who Rudy called me. That's just the fact. Right, but what like, did you address? Hold on, let me, right. let me finish. Let me respond to what you just said. I'm not saying Rudy is this Prince Charming man, out rightfully so, but the point of the matter is Rudy did not call on my show and tell me that he was not married and I proceeded. That's all that matters. Now, what y'all do in y'all life, that's y'all business. I'm not here to defend his character. He didn't try to call me to be a guest on my show. If you want to fact check, there's another, you, you're busy? Hello? Hello? We can't hear you. Oh, how about now? Um, I can hear you now. Sorry, I got headphones. some paid questions, but I, I'm not done yet. My do you want to respond to? Do you want to respond to the fact whether or not you had surgery? What in the world when she said she never had surgery? I'm like, what? Like you had just had surgery when I met you. Like we met in Haiti. And you had just had surgery in Dominican Republic. Like, how is it that you didn't? But the navel never lies. If you look at a person's navel, it won't lie. What? Wait, I do remember what? that she told us her body was real. What? No. Let's do the Kendra can, Veronica. I do want to preface that I was in pajamas. I just got out of the shower and I was in pajamas, but okay. Well, I didn't say pajamas, but what? Are your tattoos are real? Oh, you have a lot they of are. tattoos. Yeah, they are all real. Okay, you have a nice body. You have a nice body. I do want to answer this real quick, though. This is you could tell this is my natural body. Everybody's got something to say. I, you know, everything matches, and you could tell. And if you can go look at my social media, and you could tell I've been like this all my life. I'm Afro Latina, and if y'all know, Latin women and Black women are naturally built this way. So, yeah. Okay, so anybody that had concerns about her body, it is authentic. She's never had no body surgery. This is the body. Her, she got it from my mama and her daddy. My mama on my uh, social media, you can see her too. Miss Olivia was a hottie in her day too. So I have to be very cautious about what I say because, again, it's at this point, it's a legal matter because. Well, you call me, girl. So what you call me for? You want, I'm asking you questions, so you don't want to answer okay, that. So because that was something. Hold on. That hold was on. something you, you, you offered. Look, you dip on your chip, Kendra. Like, don't have that energy with me. Like, don't you didn't have that energy? Well, with no, me. Veronica, I'm gonna have that energy with you because I'm getting man. irritated you're because the fact of okay, the matter is, you call me. Give me my you call me lying. You call me lying. So if you don't expect, if if you if you don't expect this type of energy, I don't know what you would expect. You literally called and told lies on my show. This is a but did I, show. But did I tell the lies? Yeah. You don't know that. You're you're at this point, you're calling me a liar and you don't know if I did. This Veronica, just two different Veronica. Are you okay. are you a part of this interview? Are you a part I, of this interview? I, are you a part of it? Because it seems like this is the camera. Okay, off. Veronica, what would listen, you listen, honey. I'm not gonna play these games with you. You just admitted to two lies in this interview. How how is that a lie? That is not a lie. You you admitted that you are married and you told us that you were divorced. That's a lie. That's not where what, what what's going on here? Okay, That's so an admission of lying. That anything else is not a lie. Like you don't just like when you come out on a public platform, you for me to say, oh, I live here but not here. I live. Okay, that here. listen. That's okay. That, we're not talking about that. that. I didn't even bring that up. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic where everything begins is. You said you were divorced and you are legally married, and that is a lie. We can fact check the fact that you are legally married. You, you told can. a lie, Veronica. And that's fine. If that's not what you want to roll with, that's okay. But so we're not. It's not what I'm that. rolling with. It's just the facts of what it is. It's the facts. That's fine. So we're not going to roll. We're not going to talk about any of the lies that Rudy told. Because Rudy came on here and just lied, 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 and he was allowed to just talk openly for 20 minutes, and you never interrupted him. You never gave him this this hostile energy. This man was allowed to come onto your platform, onto your platform, and say whatever he wanted to say. Libel, slander was able to come on here and say whatever he wanted to well, say. Well, like I said with Rudy, and I said it several times, I have to use allegedly because he said something about a video, and he was ready to show the video. Now I didn't allow him to show the video. I and don't I, know. If it, that, huh? Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. You guys haven't spoken since July of last year, like no communication. Well, that. That's when she sent me the video of her having a threesome with a chick going down on her and a dude in the background. What? Right now, those are some those are some tough allegations. Okay. Now. We have to I have to use the word allegedly because I don't know if that's that's a true. She sent you a video. No, you're not gonna I'm, I'm gonna prohibit you from showing the video. Yeah. So I'm gonna prohibit you from showing the video. We we won't do that. 
We won't do that. We won't do that. What? We don't. Do, we won't do that. But do you want to right now say if that video exists? The video exists, and it was after the fact, the date that we are legally separated. The paperwork that says gives the date of the date that we are considered by the court legally separated. That video occurred after we were legally separated. Okay. After. Now, have his, you ever had have right, you ever had body surgery? His indiscretions. I, again, I have to be cautious. His. I have to be cautious. Like I said, I can't say a whole lot because uh, it's with my attorney, but there are several women who have tried to reach out to you who want to come on the platform and say, Hold Okay, up. well, they can. Well, 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 here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You got to understand this. You can be in your emotions and you can be in your feelings. I'm not. Well, hold, that's the thing hold on. I'm, not. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to do the listen and talk back rule because we can't talk over each other. But the fact of the matter is, the old, Rudy... Again, and I said to him, I don't know him. I don't know you. It's y'all word against y'all. But the fact of the matter is you just admitted that he is still legally, legally your husband. And that's why he came on to expose the truth. Now, I'm asking you this question three times. I'm going to ask it again. Okay. Because you so volunteered. Me... You you actually volunteered hold, hold on this. One I, hold on, I hold on one second. On hold on one second, Veronica. Hold on one second. I never ask women if they have body surgery, first of all. What you, you, what you, you are, hold on, Veronica. Let me finish my statement. I never asked them if they have body surgery. You decided to volunteer that your body was natural. You got it from your mama. We want to ask this real quick, though. This is, you could tell this is my natural body. Everybody's got something to say. I, you know, everything matches, and you could tell. And if you can go look at my social media, and you could tell I've been like this all my life. So, right now, have you ever had any type of surgery or lipo? And again, I have to be cautious at what I say because everything was, this video has been downloaded and sent to my attorney and I do have an attorney. Why can't you answer that simple question though, Veronica? I, because I have to be cautious about what I say. You have to be cautious of whether or not you have surgery? I have to be cautious about what I say because again, I know, but I'm just asking, I'm just saying, why, why can't you, I mean, first of all, you, hold on, let me ask you this though. Let me just say this, but let me say this so I can understand. I never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. I don't ask women that question. Hold but, on, let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, Veronica. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. There's a woman on your show, you treat them differently. Veronica, you are a case. Veronica, you are separate right now. What are you talking about? I'm asking you to. This is your PSA. I'm telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. Wait, hold on. Veronica, Veronica, I want to continue, but we're not going to continue like this if you're not going to. Admit, as I say, I never asked women. I never asked women if they had surgery. You offered to volunteer that your body was natural. So if you offer to volunteer that your body was natural, why can't you just so let me admit to it or not admit to it right now? I just want to understand this. At first, you were caught up on the fact that well, are you married or are you not married? Your man came on here and said he was this, he was that, and so you're not allowing me to speak to anything. What you're concerned about is what you're concerned about, and I get it. This is entertainment for you, and you want ratings, and you want no. Food. I'm just what trying to get fat. I'm just trying to get fat. You want the mess, and you want the tea. What you don't want no, to do, girlfriend, you call me. I don't know you. Why do I want the mess of the tea? Y'all call me up. I don't call nobody, honey. I call no one. You call me. <laughs> Plain and simple. What I'm doing right now is I'm asking fact check questions. Right. Like I said, so hold on, let me say it again. Okay, but did you fact me... check him? Did you fact check him when he came on your show? Did you fact well, check I'm, I'm him? Fat, only way I can fact well, Veronica, did you fact Veronica, Veronica, listen. Did you ask only way him? I can fact check did him is to talk him? to you. Listen, Veronica, this is what did I'm doing right now. Check him? This is what I'm doing right now. You're the fact check. I'm giving you the opportunity to fact check. But you're not. I can are only you, fact check with you, Are you Veronica? really giving me the opportunity? Are you really Veronica, giving me the opportunity? Veronica, Veronica, here's the deal. I'm going to say it for the four time. I'm going to digress and take I'm gonna a say it for the first. I'm going to say it for the fourth time. You volunteer the information about not having surgery. I didn't even ask the question. You volunteered a lot of information. So now I'm, I'm asking you now. To me how you're so stuck now I'm on asking you now, thing. Veronica. And it's showing. Is that a true statement that you and said? It's showing. Me? And like I said, you must. Okay, we we done. We done. We done. We done. We done. We done. Child, let me tell you something. The rules of this show: no videos come down, and I call nobody. You call me. Plain and simple. Now, the fact that you're not willing to answer the question that you offered to us, I never even asked you if you had body surgery, never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. You said you never had body surgery. Now, I didn't ask you three times if you want to confirm or deny that. And every time I ask, it, the attorney is involved.
the attorney, how could the attorney be involved in something that you volunteered to tell the world? That question would have never came up. But now all of a sudden, you, you can't say legally if you had body surgery or not. Child, listen, let me tell you something, child. <laughs> the one thing about this is you guys play yourselves all the time. I've been doing this show for four years. If you didn't know about it, that's on your ass. <laughs> that is on your ass. If you don't know about the show, there's plenty of videos. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube. Plain and simple. This is not a new show, honey. It's not a new show. And this was your opportunity to deny a lot of things that Rudy said. And, you know, it is what it is. I want this to be a lesson to everyone that calls in to the show. No videos come down. Do not lie. Plain and simple. If you call into the show, you are volunteered to ask the answer the questions that I literally ask everyone. Now, you might answer a question. I might go deeper with your answer, but everyone has a basic answer. The reason I do 21 or older, because 21 or older, you're an adult. By this age, you should know how to answer basic ass questions. Now, one thing Veronica said is she never heard of the show, and I just went back to see when she was on. She was the she was on, I select her after 50 minutes. After 50 minutes. So that means you sat in queue for 50 minutes and watched me ask people questions. At any given moment, you could have disconnected yourself because I call no one. You volunteer to call here. Here's the deal. Once you volunteer to call here, like I say at the beginning of every video, no videos come down. And guess what? If your ass is a liar and someone is willing to expose your ass on the World Wide Web and what you a lie, they have the right to do so. Guess what? How, guess how everything is solved. Do not lie. And then nobody doesn't have to come and say that you're a liar. It's the most simplest thing in life.